Last year, VirtualBox was released as a developer preview with support for Apple Silicon Macs, which performed adequately, but it had a significant limitation. It emulated x86 operating systems instead of virtualizing native ARM64 operating systems like UTM or VMware Fusion. Despite its emulation capabilities, this often led to the virtual machine crashes. VirtualBox has not received any updates since the release of the developer build. Oracle has finally released VirtualBox 7.1.2, which brings full support for Apple Silicon Max. In this video, I will show you how to install a brand new VirtualBox on Apple Silicon Mac. Installing VirtualBox is quite simple, and it's a powerful tool that allows you to run virtual machines on your Apple Silicon Mac. At the end of this video, I will also share my experience running ARM64 virtual machines on my M1 Mac. Now for this demonstration, I will be using my MacBook Air M1, but the procedure will be the same for M2 and M3 Macs. First, open Safari and navigate to the VirtualBox website. Click on the download button. At the time of this video, VirtualBox 7.1.2 is the latest version available. If you have an Intel Mac, you can download the x86 version of VirtualBox. For Apple Silicon Macs, click this button to download the ARM64 version of the VirtualBox. Once the download is complete, double-click the DMG file and then double-click the PKG icon to start the installer. Then click on Continue. Choose to install for all users of this computer and then click Install. Enter your admin password to proceed. After the installation is complete, you can choose to move the DMG file to the trash folder. Now open Finder, go to the Applications folder, look for the virtual box and open it. And that's it, we have successfully installed a virtual box on Apple Silicon Mac. Since Apple Silicon Macs are based on the ARM architecture, you can only create ARM64 virtual machines. As of now, VirtualBox version 7.1.2 only supports running Linux-based distributions. I tried installing Kali ARM64 and the installation was quite routine and very fast compared to x86 systems. I chose to install the XFCE desktop environment and created manual partitions for Kali and the installation was successful. However, when I restarted the VM, it got stuck in UEFI shell mode. Unfortunately, even though the installation was successful, I could not run Kali Linux because VBox failed to load the Grub Boot Manager. Next, I tried creating a Windows 11 ARM64 virtual machine, but the moment I clicked the Start button, the VM crashed. It seems like Windows 11 support hasn't yet been added to the virtual box. For now, only Linux distros are supported. And lastly, I decided to test out the Fedora Workstation ARM64. Although the installation took a long time, it was eventually completed. When I restarted the VM, I successfully booted into the newly installed Fedora workstation. The experience was buttery smooth, but it lacked support for 3D acceleration.
Overall, I would say that the virtual box for Apple Silicon Max is not as robust compared to UTM or VMware Fusion. If you want to create or run ARM64 virtual machines on Apple Silicon Mac, UTM or VMware Fusion may offer a more stable experience. That being said, this doesn't mean the VirtualBox is bad, it just needs more time to support Windows 11, ARM64 and other Linux distributions. So what do you guys think about it? Let me know in the comments section down below. Thank you so much for watching. This has been KSQRL. I will see you in the next one.